So we're doing lamb shanks today. This looks brilliant. Real Moroccan today. Yeah, so we've got all these uh, classic Moroccan flavours. Mm. We've got cinnamon, coriander seeds, cumin, uh, cardamom, a bit of turmeric as well. We're going to do a couscous salad, and I've got a nice um, way of spi well, not spicing, mm. but twisting up your yoghurt as well. Twisting up mm. the yoghurt, as he says. This is exciting. <laughs> Can't wait. It looks fantastic. Sounds delicious. We'll see how to bring it all together very soon. OK, we are back in the Beko kitchen, and we are making a lamb shank dish today, Mark, which is fantastic and very Moroccan. And this, I guess, is the base of our Moroccan lamb shank. Exactly right. We're going to make a spice mix now. Mm. We're going to rub the lamb, and then we're going to start cooking the lamb. Nice. So, you know, wonderful um, selection of uh, spices there, turmeric, sweet paprika, cayenne pepper, um, cardamom, uh, coriander seeds, cinnamon, all that, um, all those sort of flavours, those sweet and spicy flavours. Beautiful. So what we want to do now, get it in your mortar and pestle, yeah. and then we just want to grind it up. So you've got some powders there already, yeah. and then we've got some whole spices, and we're just going to get them all cracking. How do we make it stick to the lamb? Is there any secret to that? Just Sprinkle it over. Sprinkle it over. It's going to have <laughs> enough juices in itself to yeah. stick. No, no, yeah. No, it will stick because it'll, it'll be a real real fine powder. OK, nice. So that's it. Make your powder nice You've and You've got fine. me worried now. <laughs> just, just thinking about it. Actually, while you're doing that, just quickly, because, you know, we've talked a lot about funerals and uh, stuff like that over the past couple of months. Have you ever had that conversation? Like, does Paula know what you're going to want? Do you want cremated? Do you want, you know? Uh, no, actually, well, it's, probably, go. it's probably, probably a good thing to start talking about. I'm sure we'll play Oasis at the funeral. That'll play be, Oasis, that'll, I'll that'll, write that'll that down. That'll be one of the things. See, look, you've started planning already. That's good, that's what we like. You started the conversation. And I tell you what, that smells incredible. Now that was multitasking, wasn't it? Yeah, you're yeah, clever. <laughs> that's, right. why we, that's why you're here, Mark. <laughs> right, so you get the lamb shanks, we've got the spice uh, mix. So just rub it all over, you know, you can sort of start massaging oh, it that's, over. that's fine, yeah. And, uh, and then we're going to start sealing it off. So we've not toasted the spices um, first because we're going to they're going to toast them as, the as they go. Okay, yeah. cool. So you're going to brown that. Okay. So you keep an eye on that. So nice, uh, nice medium heat. Get your oil hot and get some good colour on there, all, on all sides. Okay. And then we're going to put some veg vegetables in there. So I've got some fennel. So I'm going to leave everything nice and rustic. So nice big chunks, and it's mm -hmm. all going to cook together like nice and slowly. Nice. Um, Got some carrot, got a chilli as well to get a bit of heat. So all you want to do with this chilli, we're going to leave it whole. We're just going to prick it and then that's going to go in. I'm going to put that in now. Okay. That's going to start roasting and start help flavouring the lamb. I'm going to cut some carrots. But all the time, leave it really, really chunky. These little red onions, I'm just going to leave them in half. And a little bit of garlic, just crush that. So you can see we're getting a little bit of colour on now. Now you can pop all the vegetables in. OK, good. And we want to get a little bit of colour, but start softening those vegetables. OK, nice. This is nice and quick, isn't it? One pot, we like it. Well, this pot's nice and quick, but it's going to take a couple of hours to cook. OK, so we're going to... That's right, you can, you know, you can get it all ready, and then you sit down for a couple of hours, have a cheeky, refreshing drink in the afternoon, and wait for it to cook. That's it, a couple of bay leaves as well, that goes in. Go back on Facebook, watch some of Mark's videos and previous recipes. <laughs> Get inspired. Oh, wow, I can feel that flavour hitting me. That's incredible, Mark. But yeah, Beautiful. He heaps of flavours. So that's, you know, cooking it all, that's the benefit of cooking it all in one pot. You know, all those flavours are going to leach in and go through all the vegetables and cook, cook everywhere. I've got preserved lemon as well, so this is going to give us a nice sort of zesty, um, salty touch to the stew. Nice. That goes in. Brilliant. And then what I've got is a little bit of saffron here. And I've got a little bit of uh, stock, or you can use some boiling water. Oh, Ideally, if you've, if you've got it hot, is is better. OK. Then it leaches out. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to pop that in there with a little bit more stock. Oh, it smells amazing. And even a little bit of water, but you don't need too much. Bring that to the boil, give it a little bit of a season, lid mm. on, and then slowly cook it for about two hours, two and a half hours until it's nice and tender. This is the perfect dish to make over the weekend, so thank you for showing it us today, Mark. Brilliant. Everything's cooking nicely here, and we'll see the rest of how to prepare these lamb shanks very soon. You can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. But we've got to finish off our lamb, and this is smelling incredible. So, you know, you can do it in a tagine, can't you? One of these, or you can do it in a modern tagine, as Mark would say. <laughs> <laughs> pressure cooker? Could you do this in a pressure cooker? Turn the pressure cooker, cooker speed yep. the time up, 
or you know if you've got a, a full cast iron pan get it up to the boil and then pop it in the oven and then forget about it you know and then you can really turn it down and cook it all day if you want Brilliant. to you at work um right so after a couple of hours this is what you're going to let be left with okay <gasps> you got this the bone. Yeah, you got this lamb and if you just pull out the mm. bone that's just falling off the bone Beautiful. the vegetables are, are full of flavor nice and soft so keep all those and i've just strained it off so this is the liquid yes and we need that yeah, we need the liquid, okay. and I'm going to um, I'm going to bring it up to the boil. I'm going to yep. reduce it probably by 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 about half, maybe even two thirds, uh, just to intensify that flavour and just to use it as a little a bit of a, a sauce and uh, glaze our lamb shanks. Okay, good. So don't throw out your trained liquid. No, no, no. That's that's where all the flavour is. Right. Reduce so, it for sauce. And now we're doing couscous. We're going to couscous. So I've got a little bit of mint. So just leave it in a couple of sprigs, and that's just going to help flavour. I'll give a little bit more. Be generous. Uh, nice and fresh. So we've got the couscous. Pop it into a bowl. And then I've got some chicken stock in yep. here. You can use um, you can use any stock if you want. Mm -hmm. Even a little bit of water or even a little bit of saffron water would be really nice. Oh, nice. Uh, bring it up to the boil. I'm going to pour it over the top. And that looks like Israeli couscous you're using. Yeah, so yeah. you can use the fine one. So I'm hoping this will work. I might have to put, <laughs> put this back in the pan. But uh, we'll, we'll just go through it, the magic of TV. No, but that's the thing with couscous is, you know, you can fix it if you make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, okay. you can fix everything if you make a mistake. <laughs> That's right. Especially with the magic of a television commercial break. Right, so, so as the couscous absorbs, right, we're going to get some um, black olives. Yep. So we've got these black olives here. Um, you know, just roughly chop them. I've got some more uh, mint as well. We're just going to roughly chop. And you just want it nice and fresh. And the beauty with couscous is, you know, you can put any flavours you want in there. Oh, yeah. You know, flavours, textures, anything. You know, these are all sort of quite traditional flavours for um, uh, Moroccan food. Nice. So I'm just going to get all that ready. I've got a, a bit of lemon as well and a bit of orange juice as well to freshen it up. So once it's um, uh, softened up. Yeah. Right, and then I've got this yoghurt. So a little bit of bowl here. Just some yoghurt. You are treating us to some luxury today. A little Matt. bit of harissa spice. Okay. That goes in there. Just give it a you know a nice pop of flavour and some rose um, oil. Ah, nice. That you goes like that in. Rose oil. Yeah, and it's beautiful and it's so good. It just gives you that beautiful sweetness, especially with this dish. A lot of spice, a lot of sweetness, vegetables, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Do you want brilliant. to try this? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll try it at the end of the show. Oh, so good. And by the magic of television, everything's going to be perfectly cooked by the time we finish. Lamb shanks are smelling incredible, Mark. Look at that, everything is cooked. Just nice. plating it up, finish it with Yum. a little bit of that sauce. Oh, bring it all over. that beautiful, sweet yogurt on top. Oh, that looks fine. Look Yum. There you go, perfect. Nice work, thank you so much. Now you've excited us with that. What are you going to excite us with on Monday? Right, I've got crispy sesame chicken with a sticky Asian mm. sauce.